Donajima. Honajima. What does it mean? Today, on One Korean Word a Day here at Day Hangul, we are going to study about the word Tonada. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Word number 211. Honada. Honada. This is pronounced as a three syllable word. The first syllable is to, second syllable is na, and the third syllable is da. Pronounce it with me. Honada. Honada. The word tonada is a root verb which means to leave. Again, this is a verb which means to leave. How do we write tonada in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. To be able to write the syllable to in Hangul, we need to draw first a sangdikut character followed by the o character. For the second syllable na, we need to draw first a nian character followed by the a character. For the last syllable da, we need to draw first a dikut character followed by an a character. And then we just have to combine the hangul for each of these three syllables to form the hangul of the word tonada. Now let's try to look into this example phrase. It says, don't leave. Again, it says, don't leave. The Korean translation of this phrase is tonajima. Again, it's tonajima. The term tonajima is actually a combination of two words, namely tonada and hajima. The word tonada is our word for today. This is a verb which means to leave. The second word is hajima. This is already discussed on this channel, and as of now, I wish that we remember that means don't do it. So when we combine the meaning of this two, it would result to a phrase that means do not leave. And when we combine tonada and hajima, it will become tonajima. Again, it means don't leave. And with that, you've just learned tonada. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 201 to 210. But don't forget our word for today, word number 211, tonada. This is a verb which means to leave. The first word for our review is word number 210, suyong, which means swimming. Word number 209 is yangpa, which means Onion. Word number 208 is cha, which means car or tea. Word number 207 is kyon, which means cute. Word number 206 is chwesongeo which means, I'm sorry, in a polite manner. Word number 205 is pang, which means room or chamber. Word number 204 is nodo, which means you too. Word number 203 is actually a phrase, Chalbone, which means have a nice day in an informal manner. Word number 202 is actually a particle, kaji, which means up to or until. And the last for our review is word number 201, esso, which is another particle, which is used to say from, in, or at. Grats!
learn Korean one word at a time. Only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much again for being here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words. Mori a pile. What does it mean? If you notice, the word in red letter is mori. Because today, on one Korean word a day here at Day Hangul, we are going to study about the word mori. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time on here at Day Hangul. Word number 212. Mori. Mori. This is pronounced as a two syllable word. The first syllable is mo, and the second syllable is ri. Pronounce it with me. Mori. Mori. The word mori is the Korean term for head. And at the same time, this could also be used as the term for hair. Again, mori is head or hair in Korean. How do we write mori in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. First, we need to draw a meum character followed by the a uh character. And then for the second syllable, ri, we need to draw first a real character followed by the e character. And then we just have to combine the Hangul for each of these two syllables to form the Hangul of the word mori. And this is composed of two syllables, mo and ri. Mori. Now let's try to look into this example English sentence. It says, my head hurts. Again, my head hurts. The Korean translation of this is mori a pile. Again, mori a pile. The first part of the sentence is mori. This is our word for today, and we already know that it means head. As mentioned earlier, mori could mean head or hair, but for the case of this sentence, it means head. The second part of the sentence is a pile. This is already discussed on this channel, and I hope that we already know that it means it hurts. So, if we combine mori and a pile, mori a pile, it would result to a sentence that means head hurts or my head hurts again mori could be head or hair and with that you've just learned mori now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap as of now, the previous 10 words are words number 202 to 211. But don't forget our word for today, word number 212, mori. This is the Korean term for head or hair. Word number 211 is tonada. This is a Korean verb which means to leave. Word number 210 is suyong. And this is the Korean term for swimming. Word number 209 is yangpa, and this is the Korean term for onion. Word number 208 is cha. This could mean car or tea in Korean. Word number 207 is kyon. And this could be used to say cute. Word number 206 is This is an informal but polite way of saying I'm sorry. Word number 205 is ba. This is the Korean term for room or chamber. Word number 204 is nodo which means you too.
Word number 203 is chalpote. This is actually a phrase which means have a nice day in an informal manner. And the last for our review, word number 202 is kaji. This is actually a particle which is used to say up to or until. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time. All here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words. Neaboji. Neaboji. What does it mean? If you notice, the word in red letter is ne. Because today, on one Korean word a day here at Deango, we are going to study about the word ne. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Deango. Word number 213. Ne. Ne. This is composed of just one syllable, and this is pronounced as ne. Ne. The word ne is actually a pronoun, which is used to say my or to indicate that an object is mine. How do we write ne in Hangul? It's very easy. This is composed of just two characters. The first character is nian, and the second character is e. And then we just have to combine these two characters to form the Hangul of the word ne. Again, nian plus e is ne. Now let's try to look into this example English phrase. It says, my father. Again, my father. The Korean translation of this is ne aboji. Again, ne aboji. First part of the sentence is ne, which is our word for today, which we already know as my or mine. The second part of the sentence is aboji. This is already discussed on this channel, and it means father. So when we say ne aboji, it's the same as saying my father in English. Again, remember, ne is my and aboji is father. When we say ne aboji, it means my father. And with that, you've just learned ne. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the PV stand words are words number 203 to 212. Don't forget our word for today, word number 213, ne, which means my or of mine. The first word for our review is word number 212, mori, which is used as head or hair in Korea. Word number 211 is tonada. This is a verb which means to leave. Word number 210 is suyong, and this is the Korean term for swimming. Word number 209 is yangpa, and this is the Korean term for onion. Word number 208 is cha which could mean car or tea in Korean. Word number 207 is kyon, which means cute. Word number 206 is chwe and this is an informal and polite way of saying, I'm sorry. Word number 205 is pan, which means room or chamber. Word number 
Word number 204 is nodo, which means you too. The last for our review is word number 203, which is actually a phrase, zalbone, which means have a nice day. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time on here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words. Ono Hakcha. Ono Hakcha. What does it mean? If you notice, the word in red letter is Ono. Because today, on one Korean word a day, we're going to study Ono. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Word number 214. Ana. Ana. This is pronounced as a two syllable word. The first syllable is an and the second syllable is a. Pronounce it with me. Ana. Ana. The word ana is the Korean term for language itself. I mean, language in general. Again, ana is the Korean term for language. How do we write ana in Hangul? It is composed of two syllables. And to be able to write the first syllable on, we need to draw first a placeholder em followed by the a character, followed by the nian character. For the second syllable a, we need to draw first a no sound em followed by the a character itself. If you notice, both syllables have an Ian character at the first position of the syllable, and those are just for the purpose of place holding. Anyway, we just have to combine the hangle for each of these syllables to form the hangle of the word ano. Now let's try to look into this English term, linguist. A linguist is a language scholar. Again, linguist. The Korean translation of this term is ono hakcha. Again, ono hakcha. If we will dig deep about the term, the ono part, which is our word for today, means language. And the hakcha part of the term ono hakcha actually means scholar. So when we say ono hakcha, it's the same as saying language scholar. And if we will go back to the English term mentioned a while ago, it's linguist. And a linguist is actually a language scholar. Again, ano is language. And with that, you've just learned ano. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 204 to 213. But don't forget our word for today, word number 214, ano, which means language. Word number 213 is ne, which means my or mine. Word number 212 is mori which means head or hair. Word number 211 is tonada. This is a root verb which means to leave. Word number 210 is suyong, which means swimming. Word number 209 is yangpa, which means Onion. Word number 208 is cha, which means car or tea. Word number 
word number 207 is kion, which means cute. Word number 206 is tuesong heyo, which means I'm sorry in a polite manner. Word number 205 is fang, which means room or chamber. And the last for our review, word number 204, nodo, which means you too. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words. Kuroke. Kuroke. What does it mean? Today, on One Korean Word Today here at Tehango, we're going to study about Kuroke. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time on here at Day Hangul. Word number 215. Kuroke. Kuroke. This is pronounced as a three syllable word. The first syllable is k, second syllable is ro, and the third syllable is ke. Pronounce it with me. Kuroke. The word kuroke means like that. If you could remember, we already tackled the word iroke, and it means like this. Iroke is similar to kuroke. It's just that iroke means like this, and kuroke means like that. If you could notice, the first part of the word kuroke is ku, which means that. Again, kuroke is like that. How do we write kuroke in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable, ku. First, we need to draw a gyo character followed by the u character. For the second syllable, ro, we need to draw first a real character followed by the o character followed by the hi character. And for the last syllable, ge, we need to draw first a gyo character followed by the e character. And then we just have to combine the hangul for each of these syllables to form the hangul of the word kuroke. As compared to iroke, e is changed to gu, which means that. So the spelling is very similar to the word iroke. We just need to change e to gu. Now let's try to look into this example English phrase. It says like that. Again, like that or like that way. The Korean translation of this is kuroke. Again, it's kuroke. As mentioned earlier, kuroke is very similar to iroke. Both iroke and guruke are used to indicate a way of doing an action. The only difference is the first syllable, which is i and gu. E is used to say this, and g is used to say that. So when we say iroke, you do it this way, like this one which is near to me. But when we say guruke, you do it that way. I mean that way which is near to you but is far from me. So again, they have the same essence. They are trying to say that an action should be done on this specific way. And they differ just on the location. Iroke is pointing at an action which is near to the speaker. And Guroke is pointing at an action near to the receiver. Again, Iroke like this. Guroke like that. And with that, you've just learned Kuroke. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. 
As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 205 to 214. But don't forget our word for today. Word number 215 is kuroke, which means like that. Word number 214 is ono, which means language. Word number 213 is ne, which means my or mine. Word number 212 is mori, which could mean head or hair. Word number 211 is honada, which means to leave. Word number 210 is suyong, which means swimming. Word number 209 is young pa, which means onion. Word number 208 is cha, which means car or tea. Word number 207 is kyon, which means cute. Word number 206 is chwesongeo, which means I'm sorry, in a polite but informal manner. Word number 205 is bang, which means room or chamber. That's the last for our review. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, out here. At the hangle. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Korean words.